Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have kind of a fun video to do. I've been meaning to film this one for a while, um, and I'm getting ready, kind of packing a bunch of stuff for my upcoming trip that I'm doing. Um, I'm filming this on Christmas Eve, I don't know when this will go live, but I'm going up to the Portland area for about a week, and uh, so I'm getting all my stuff ready, and one thing that I've been doing for about a month now is I've been carrying a fanny pack a lot of the time. Not all the time but a lot of the time. Now, you might be laughing already at that statement, right? Because in a lot of places, a fanny pack is dorky, hilariously dumb. It just, it's, it's a bad look, right? But something I've noticed over the last couple of years where I live here in LA County is that it's become more and more socially acceptable to the point where now a lot of dudes all over the place are wearing fanny packs. And so at first I got a Herschel Supply one, ordered it on Amazon, it was pretty good, but it just had kind of one main pouch and then a little pouch on front. And it wasn't all that much space, but even that was working pretty well for me. So when I figured out that I liked that, I ended up getting one that was a little more suited to what I like really was looking for in the pack. And uh, I picked it up at the Adidas outlet store. So this is the one that I've been carrying now for uh, about two weeks solid with this one. So I'm gonna walk through why I've been carrying this, what I keep in it, um, at least for the most part, and then, yeah, we'll just kinda go from there. But first of all, I'll say one thing. There's a, a term that gets thrown around a lot in the EDC realm, and in like the tactical realm and all that, and that's gray man, right? Like the idea of being a gray man means that you're kind of hidden in plain sight, that you look like everybody else around. If you're wearing a shirt that says Glock Perfection on it, and you're wearing a hat that, I don't know, says Sig Sauer, and you're wearing shoes that are made by Beretta, just kidding, that's not a thing, but if you're wearing all this, like, tactical gear, then you're probably going to stick out as somebody who is most likely in a crowd to have weapons on them, right? Gray Man is about blending in, right? Not having anything on you that really sticks out. And so in some places, if you carried a fanny pack, it would be not gray man. <laughs> Here where I live, it works, right? It kind of is gray man to have a fanny pack on you. I look like more of a hipster, if you will, because I have a fanny pack on me. So it makes me less assuming. <laughs> um, so that's why it's kind of working for me here. And I'm bringing it with me up to the Portland area because I assume up there it's probably kind of the same thing. Maybe I'm wrong. If so, I'll leave it at my buddy's house while we're out and about. But I've loved being able to carry so much more gear than I typically do and so much more comfortably because pocket real estate is limited, right? If you're not familiar with what I keep in my pockets, I talk about it from now or every now and then, but I'll probably also do a, an updated like just a, a daily dump every now and then showing what's really on my person in my pockets. But you can always count on my front left pocket is my iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and uh, love it. That's where it goes. It gets its own pocket. Nothing else goes in there. I'm not tossing a knife in there. I'm not tossing anything else in there. I use my phone left-handed, which is great. That works for me because then in my right front pocket, it typically is my wallet. I carry, you'll see it in a moment, but a Redeemed Creations Co. front pocket bifold. It goes in my front right pocket, and then next to that, clipped into the corner of my pocket, is my primary folder. My primary folder always goes in that spot. In case I need a knife in a pinch, it needs to be a knife I can trust, that I'm confident in. It has to be at least a certain size, and, and a lot of things, right? Talk about that a lot, actually, on the Knife Junkie podcast episode that I was on, so check that out if you haven't already. Anyways, primary folder goes there with my wallet in that pocket. Back right pocket, I clip on a carabiner my keys to that loop that sits above the pocket, and then if I'm walking around, I tuck the keys into that pocket. So they're clipped onto the loop, and then they're dangled down into my pocket just so they don't jingle so much. But I like using a carabiner for my keys. That's the way I like to carry them. Back left pocket, oftentimes, is my secondary knife. Every now and then, instead of there, it'll go in my coin pocket. If I'm trying to like really conceal it sometimes, it'll be in my waistband, but 85% of the time, my secondary is in my back left pocket, just clipped under the corner. I happen to be pretty good with my left hand. I write and shoot, use my phone, I eat with my left hand. So I pass my knives to my left hand a lot of the time anyways, even though typically I use folding knives in my right hand. Anyways, that's the way my pockets are set up. So you can imagine if I add a light, where does it go? 
I have to find a spot in there where it fits well. So then maybe my secondary goes to my coin pocket and my light goes where my secondary otherwise would go. But what if then I also want to have a pen on me? Then <laughs> I've got to figure out where to put my pen. And then if I also want to have chapstick, like whatever it is, any extra thing that I put on me, I've already kind of maxed out my pockets and I've got my, my normal stuff that goes in those spaces. So with this, I have so much more space. So I'm just going to kind of walk through what I've got in here. Um, my AirPods are set out, but I'll show you where theirs go. Um, <laughs> just because I was using them right before filming this. Anyways, I'm going to show you what's in it right now because it's I just grabbed it. I didn't like prep it and throw a bunch of extra stuff in here. This is what's been in it for the last week or so with maybe one or two things getting thrown in or, or taken out. And that's kind of been good for me. It's worked out well. So in here, we'll start with this little front pouch, if you will. So it's got these two pouches up here, a main compartment, and then on the back, there's a back, like kind of padded compartment as well. And in the main compartment, there's even a little sleeve in there. So in this little front pouch, I keep my AirPods typically, although they were just on my desk because I was using them, and a Refine EP1 pen. Come on. Um, I still need to do my full review on this pen. I actually have this one and the copper one. I took the copper cap and put it on this one and took this titanium cap and put it on the copper one just to kind of dress this one up a little bit. Um, I love this pen. Use it all the time. This has become my go-to kind of EDC pen. And keeping it in my pack is awesome because if I'm just around the house, there's pens everywhere. But if I'm out and about running errands, especially right now in the COVID era, I don't want to use public pens all the time. I love the idea of having my own pen. The copper one makes it in here every now and then as well, just because that one's antimicrobial. That's an extra good thing. Um, not that I'm a huge germaphobe, but it's good to be conscious. So keep that pen in there along with my AirPods. My AirPods see a ton of use. These are one of my <laughs> most used EDC items, if you will. Uh, these aren't the pros. These are just the normal ones, which on sale lately you can get for like 130 bucks or something. Um, love those. They work great for me. So that's that pouch. Now this next pouch right here, right now, is a little on the light side because at the moment there's only one thing in it and it's tiny. Um, this pouch I've also, sometimes I throw um, like just whatever into, chapstick, because it's winter I've been using chapstick more lately, that'll go in there, or I don't know, whatever I need, there's more space in there. But right now, it's just my Vero pry bar. This is the Fulcrum Mini. And uh, it's got these bits on it. I've been keeping the T6 and the T8 in it. And it's got the driver. So if one of my knives gets a loose body screw or a pivot screw or clip screw, anything like that, I can, in the field, adjust it. And it's a pry bar. So nice and handy. will work as a flathead if I need it to. Just a great little tool to have in here. And it weighs nothing, especially in this pouch. It's just so minuscule. So next in here... Um, I have, I actually also took this out because I was fidgeting with it, but in this back slot, if you will, open this up. It's just a nice kind of narrow passageway. So I've been keeping a challenge coin in it. Uh, this one happens to be the giant mouse one that they sent me with my Riv. Come on and focus. There we go. Uh, this one's in copper. And I've never been into carrying challenge coins, but a couple of guys that I'm friends with have been talking about why they like it lately, and so I've just sort of started giving it a shot. Um, and I do find, if I'm just sitting somewhere, like, thinking, watching something, whatever, it is kind of fun, even if I'm, like, waiting for something to upload on my computer. I fidget with knives all the time, and this just feels different to just play with a coin. So it's either this, or, like, right here, I also have my Millie PM2 Para 3 Club coin. This one's a lot of fun, too. Um... I actually got a couple of these, but anyways, I've just been tossing it in the pouch lately, and then like, even sometimes while I'm driving, I'll sit and play with it. I'd like to get good, um, I think it's Doc Holliday actually, in Tombstone. He does this cool trick where he like rolls it down his fingers. Anyways, let's see if I can learn how to do that, but there's no real utility to this, other than I just, I've been trying coins out to see if I am missing something, because a lot of people, like, pack or otherwise, just carry coins all the time. Um, so there's that. Now in this back slot as well, I've been keeping my GM F1F. It's really easy to forget that it's even in there because all things considered, this is a pretty slim, soft profile. Um, and so 
with this sheath setup, I'm actually about to unbox my new sheath and scales, you'll see that soon. Um, <laughs> with this sheath setup, I don't like belt carrying this knife. It should be better with the new setup that I've got, but in the meantime, since my fanny pack goes with me so many places, this has been the most effective way to take this knife with me and start trying it out. So, this is the GM F1F. F stands for fat. This is the, the fat version of the knife in M390 from the recent release. And uh, I'm liking the knife quite a bit in a lot of ways, but this has been the most effective way for me to actually have it on me. So, that goes back in here as well. Now, that leaves us with the main compartment, right? In the main compartment, I have it set up right now. You see there's a lot of space in here. This main pouch right now is actually pretty empty. I've only got a couple of things in it. And then there's a zippered portion back here as well that I keep a couple of things in. And it's nice to just kind of keep them separated in that way. But I have, uh, this is a B. Weiss wallet that he made for me when I got my um, work mat from him. It's got the Milli PM2 Pair 3 Club logo on it too, which is cool. I just use this for extra cards, like the stuff that I don't use very often. <laughs> um, my wallet, if I'm not taking my fanny pack, goes into my pocket, right? Um, but when I do bring my fanny pack, it goes in here. So this is what I grab 90% of the time. But if I'm using one of my lesser used credit cards or like a gift card or something, I have this secondary wallet because I don't want to keep that stuff with me all the time. But if I'm going somewhere specific, then I can just grab this in addition to my main wallet. This is my main wallet. It's the Redeemed Creations Co. Front Pocket Bifold. Come on. <laughs> I have shown this wallet on the channel before. I really, really like this wallet. You can see it's wearing in over time, and it looks great. Um, I really quite enjoy this wallet. I like the patina that's forming on it. It's been in pocket countless times now, and now it goes in here if I've got the fanny pack on me, which is great too, because then my front right pocket is just my knife, and I like that. I like that it's just like, makes it even more accessible to get to my knife quickly and easily. There's nothing else crowding it. Um, so when I've got the fanny pack, I love tossing this in here. I also, because I'm about to travel, have some loose cash tossed in here. And then in this main compartment, the only other thing is an extra face mask. Um, again, living in the COVID realm that we're in at the moment, face masks are a necessity in a lot of places. And so I have several that I keep in the car, one that I almost always wear, um, that I just kind of wash with somewhat of some level of regularity. Um, I've been really enjoying the Tommy Copper ones because they have antimicrobial properties in them. But yeah, I've got some in the car, but I just like having an extra one in here in case. If I happen to walk, I don't know, <laughs> a couple minutes from the car and then realize, crap, I forgot to grab my mask and now I'm almost to the place I'm about to go in to grab something real quick. I don't want to run all the way back to the car. My fanny pack is on me. I've got back up in here. So that's great. Then in the zippered pouch in here, I have just a couple of things. Uh, the first one is this. This is an Olight i5T EOS. This is one of the ones that runs on double A's and uh, I quite like this <laughs> flashlight. It's a really good little light and uh, super lightweight, very easy to carry. Even if this is in my pocket, it's one of my favorite to carry. Uh, being in here, it just really disappears. I have also carried like my M2R Warrior Pro in here, much bigger Olight, and that's fine as well. Um, just kind of depends on what I see happening, but for the last few days it's been this one in there because I took that one out to charge and then I never switched back. <laughs> they, I like both lights, so that's good. Then the only other thing that's in here is my Hank from Renegade EDC. So this is my Mandalorian Hank. I really, really like this Hank for a couple of reasons. A, it's the best made Hank I've ever experienced. No doubt. I'll be doing my full review. Actually, I'm going to do it as I unbox my new one that I just got, so you'll see that in a separate video. But full review coming on this Hank. It is awesome in a number of ways. I don't find, even though I've found that it doesn't bother me to carry Hanks, I forget to put them in my pocket a lot. Because it's easy for me to chuck it like back right pocket where I just tuck my keys in sometimes. And I forget that a Hank is there. It just feels like more pocket fabric, right? But I'm not good at remembering to grab them every day. They're just still not like habitual for me. But having it in here, just keeping it in here full time, then any time I need a hank, it's only as far as my fanny pack is, which is really nice. And this being my favorite hank, it just makes sense to keep in there. I think it looks cool, it's made great, and 
this side being microfiber, I clean my phone with it, I clean my camera lens with it, I clean my sunglasses with it, I clean anything screen or glass that I need to clean with it, which is really nice. I've actually also washed this Hank already because I used it. We went to a drive-in movie and the inside of our windshield was really like smudgy. And so I used this to wipe down the whole inside of the windshield and then this was kind of dirty from that. The machine washed it. It was perfect afterwards. I mean, it's just still every bit as nice as it was right out of the package, folded up into a nice square again. These Hanks are amazing. So this Hank lives in here and uh, it's kind of my go-to Hank these days. So, that's everything that's in here. I've got my wallets, an extra mask, I've got a hank, I've got a light, I've got a pry tool, I've got my AirPods, I have a pen, I have an extra small fixed blade in addition to the knives that are on my body. Um, I throw a coin in there a lot of the time, I can throw a chapstick. And, not saying I do this, but the size of this pack, the proportions of it, the way that these are set up, um, I could very easily throw a full-size pistol in here if I decided to do so. So, as a way to conceal off-body, that's also an option. Just a really cool setup for me. Now, like I began the video by saying, if you're already determined to just think these are tacky and hilarious that any man would decide to carry one, so be it. I get it. I've made fun of fanny packs plenty in my life. But um, I think I've illustrated pretty well. I can keep a lot of gear that's pretty valuable to me and useful to me so much more comfortably than loading up my pockets. I'm not like a cargo pants kind of guy. I wear pretty normal dude pants, right? And so the idea of being able to have all of this extra kind of capacity and then just throw this on, I usually carry it kind of cross body. This is the way most people do it. Everything is right here while I'm out and about. And here where I live, I don't look like a weirdo to the average person. This is a pretty normal dude fanny pack to have slung across my chest and it gets all this gear everywhere that I go so much easier. So, I guess that'll be that. That is how it's going with me using a fanny pack. And uh, a lot of this gear is revolvable, like the fixed blade in the back of it. I could just as easily, and have, uh, thrown in my Steingraber Shark, or my Jacob Ginsburg Fat Boy, or my Bradford Guardian 3, or, I mean, I could put a ton of different things in there. I could also add a lot more stuff to this and still be comfortable. I have a lot of space in here that isn't being used up at the moment, but I have a lot of gear that wouldn't make it on my body otherwise. So, I like it. It's working for me. And uh, no shame. I'm, I'm carrying a fanny pack. I'm sharing about it on YouTube to thousands of people. Um, anyways, so hopefully you found this in some way intriguing or interesting. Um, if you've been considering trying out a fanny pack and you won't look like a total weirdo wherever it is you reside, then go for it. Um, I think it's, like I said, it, Gray Man is different <laughs> everywhere you go, right? If I was in rural Texas and I was wearing this blue t-shirt and a fanny pack across my chest, I would not be pulling off Gray Man, right? I would stick out. Here in LA, I don't stick out at all. <laughs> it just, this makes me look more normal. It's, it's an interesting thing. So, anyway, there you have it. Appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And, uh, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. <laughs> See you later.